Welcome to our next tutorial video in our How To series. In this video, we'll focus on how to integrate PGP encryption in Zoho Mail. Before we begin, here's a quick recap on what PGP is. PGP is short for Pretty Good Privacy, a method used to encrypt and decrypt emails. This ensures that your emails are protected from unauthorized access during transmission. For a more detailed understanding, check out our video Understanding PGP here on our official YouTube channel. Now, we'll walk you through the four major steps involved in integrating PGP with Zoho Mail. They are Generate or import your PGP key pair Import recipients' public keys and save them to your account Send an encrypted email Receive an encrypted email and decrypt it First, it's important that you own a pair of keys, the public key and the private key. You can generate a new pair of keys or import your pair of keys. Please note, the admin of your organization should have enabled access for PGP encryption. To generate a new pair of keys, log in to your Zoho Mail account Select Settings and choose Integrations. Select Extensions from the drop-down. Select Configure in PGP. Select Generate a new key pair. Choose your preferred email address. Enter a name. Next, enter a passphrase. Now re-enter the passphrase to confirm. Click on Advanced Settings. Choose your preferred algorithm and key size. Select Generate Key. And that's it. You've generated a new pair of public and private keys for the email address. If you already own a pair of keys and would like to import them, here are the steps. Log into your Zoho Mail account, select Settings and choose Integrations. Select Extensions from the drop-down. Select Configure in PGP. Select Import Key Pair. You may either select a locally stored file or copy the key from the clipboard and paste it here. Select Import Key. Next, you can verify the email address that the key has been associated with. Click Save. You've now imported your pair of keys for your email address. You will be able to view your pair of keys under the My Keys section. Your first pair of keys will be automatically set as the default. You'll also be able to set your preferred pair of keys as the default at any time in the My Keys section. Now that you own a pair of keys, we'll look at how to import the public key of the recipient PGP user. It's very important that the public keys of your recipient PGP users are saved in your account in order to send them encrypted emails. You may download multiple public keys for a single recipient and set any one key as the default. To import a recipient's public key, log into your Zoho Mail account and navigate to PGP. Select PGP Users. Select Import Public Key. You may either select a locally stored file or copy the key from the clipboard and paste it here. Select Import Key. Once selected, verify the email address of the PGP user against the public key imported. Click Save. The recipient PGP user's public key is now saved in your account and you can start using the key to encrypt the emails you send to the recipient. Given that we've imported and generated the key pairs, we'll now check out the steps involved in how to encrypt and digitally sign your emails before you hit that send button. In your account, select the new secure mail option from the new mail drop-down. Enter the PGP recipient's email address in the To field and compose the email. Select Encrypt, Sign 
and send from the top of the window. In the pop-up window, enter the passphrase to digitally sign using your private key. Click OK. Your email will now be encrypted and sent using the recipient's public key and digitally signed using your private key. We now know how to send an encrypted and digitally signed email. If you want to send an email to a user from an organization for whom you don't have the public key saved, you'll just need to click on the email ID in the To field and the public key associated with the email address will be shown. You now can import the key and send the encrypted email. Let's now check out the steps involved in how to read an email that's encrypted and digitally signed. To decrypt an email, open the email in your inbox. The email will contain your public ID with which the email has been encrypted. Select read the message in the email content. Enter the passphrase in the next window that's associated with your public key. Enable the checkbox to remember the password until the next refresh and select OK. And that's it. You'll now be able to view the content of your email and download any attachments. As we've come to the end of this video, we cover topics including Key generation Importing keys Sending encrypted and digitally signed emails As well as decrypting received emails. For more details, check out our help pages. Thanks for watching.